Who is Grant Nelson? You probably saw him on your timeline on Instagram or on Twitter, spamming some crazy drill moves in isolation and looking very fluid as a seven footer, basically. And of course, he was given the stereotypical labels Unicorn, Katie, and Demigod. Twitter went in a frenzy over Grant Nelson, and rightfully so. Any 6'11, 7 foot dude who could create for himself like that, but also show that fluidity will always be intriguing no matter what. And about 72 hours ago, Grant Nelson was completely unknown to the basketball world, and now he's a household name. And shout out to one of my mutuals on Twitter, KJ, for going ahead and posting a highlight reel of him that SportsCenter used and all these other sports outlets used like Complex and whatnot, which now scouts can see and actually are going to his games now, which is obviously very, very good for him and also for the draft world. So yeah, shout out to KJ for doing that. He is generational for that. And so now is the fun part breaking down Grant Nelson's film and seeing what makes him very, very intriguing as a prospect. Let's start off with the obvious, and that would be his creation ability for his size. Grant right here receives the swing pass from his teammate, and he's going to attack this closeout and hit his defender with a crazy step back. Somebody might not find this clip special, but trust me when I break it down. He will catch this pass, and once he catches it, it's one rip, and after that rip, he sets up for the stationary dribble and then gets to the between the legs and hits with the step back. But let's rewind and slow it down. Look at this energy transfer. He didn't have to use one more dribble to set up his shot. It was simply two dribbles and one rip through that got to that shot. And forget how many dribbles it took for him to do it. Look at the incredible space he creates with it. Mind you, he's basically seven foot doing that, man. I do think he'll be able to do this against NBA athletes, but right here was a really good drive and he's able to beat that man off the dribble. Okay, 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 you're here for him isoing. I got you, I got you, trust. Right off the inbound, he gets this pass. Now Grant is in a threat position, and he hits him with a nice rip, and then gets to the nice step back once again. And then he had Odu on the ground, just waiting for him to shoot the ball. Like, it's crazy, man. Thank God Grant did not sell the clip. And then here's a playing transition of him just doing this, and that Euro is crazy. Here's another on-ball possession, and this counter cross is just crazy. And this is like real fluid ball handling skill. It's just not like your typical 6'9 plus dude that people call Kevin Durant because he has decent dribble moves like Grant could actually create. Similar action here gets into the same counter cross and the drive is impeccable. Is it a bit of an overused move? Yeah, a little bit, but it's still effective and it gets the job done. And this ball handling just goes into his fluidity, and his fluidity is actually insane. And his overall feel for getting to these spots is actually pretty impressive. His ball handling is something that makes him a very intriguing prospect, but there's also other things in his game that open him up as a prospect. And one of those things will be his vertical athleticism. Right here, he attacks his closeout and just blows by his defender, and then he just goes up for this dunk, and I mean, He's a legit athlete. There's no such thing as a sneaky athlete for him. He's an actual good athlete. In that same game, he had that tough step back. He had a poster. That's wild, bro. That's wild. He sets up with the stationary once again, and then he just blows by his defender. Like, he's a legit athlete, one, but his vertical athleticism will really pops. He trampolines off his left foot from far out and just extends like crazy. Grant Nelson is already an NBA level athlete and offensively his play finishing potential is incredible but his vertical athleticism also translates to his defense. Denver is going to make a push and look at Grant come over with his block. I'm going to replay the clip to show you how high he got off the ground. This is not normal, man. Like, we, we know this is not normal. In this game against St. Thomas, he had really good stuff in his film, and this right here is one of them. If I had a guess for, like, his height, he's easily, like, a 1.5% athlete. Like, for being 6'11", he definitely is. And right here is another play I'll just give you. And one other thing is his feel as a passer is very real, and he does have solid core vision at 6'11". And defensively, I really like what I see. He is really big. He is 6'11", and he also told me that he has a 7-foot wingspan. So, one, he has a really good build, but two, he's also a very, 
very good athlete, which is going to help him at the next level. And I think he could be a neutral to a slight positive day one in the NBA. Now, Grant Nelson passes the naked eye. I mean, you've seen his stuff on ESPN, Complex, Bleacher Report, all that. What he does is very intriguing and what he does is kind of special. But at the same time, he's still kind of a raw prospect. One, he's not a very good shooter. Now, I really do like his mechanics, especially being 6'11", but sometimes the ball is just a little undershot or it's overshot. There's no in between. Like, for example, he has fine mechanics. He's set up in his shot. He gets a really good dip. He has a really high set point. And I mean, he gets a decent amount of spin on the ball from what it looks like on the frames, but he just puts too much energy into the ball. And his overall three-point shooting numbers aren't good, but at least he's confident. Here's another one where he shoots it just a little too short, and he is lined up in a fine shot base. A little more strength and arc would definitely help that shot. But at the same time, Grant has shown his ability to make shots. Him being an inefficient shooter doesn't necessarily worry me because, I mean, he's playing at a mid-major. With NBA development, I think he's going to be a much better shooter in the NBA. But something I didn't mention is that Grant Nelson had a late growth spurt. He wasn't always a big. He was actually a guard until probably like four years ago, I believe. And so him hitting this late growth spurt might have stunted his shooting growth a bit. But like I said, with NBA development, he will be a good shooter. Now, Grant will be a lead ball handler at the next level. If anything, he's probably a high secondary or maybe a high level tertiary, but he needs to pause up on his decision making and cutting down the turnovers. This right here comes from awareness and Grady Dick just gets the easiest steal ever. Like plays like this shouldn't happen at all. And Grant was reading only one side of the floor and wasn't reading the other one. Here's another play where Grant has to create in limited space and he just coughs up this really bad pass and gets it in a bad angle. And Grant had the right intention. Once again, I'm telling you, he has a good feel as a passer, but sometimes you can't make these reads and he forces this pass right here when he had a wide open player behind him or he could have went up and drew a foul. And once again, he's just playing too wildly out of control. And sometimes, like I said, he has to control the ball and limit the turnovers. And he doesn't do a lot of that ISO stuff in game. It probably happens about three to five times a game. So what you saw on KJ's highlight reel might be misleading to the casuals. But if you watch this film, you know that he won't do it a lot in game. Same thing here with the turnovers. Sometimes he just really forces passes through bad windows. And he really tried catching this body, God. And while he is a good creator relative to his size, sometimes he'll just not create enough and take bad shots. And here's another thing about his awareness. He just lets this man get by him for the easiest points ever. Kansas was the best team North Dakota State played all year. And he was not good in that game. But his game against Arkansas earlier on in the year, he was pretty good. Now, all in all about Grant Nelson, he is easily the hot commodity in the draft right now. A lot of agencies are trying to hit him up now, and even scouts are trying to go watch his games, and they're not going to watch him play in North Dakota, but that game against Denver on Thursday, I believe, they were there. Um, they're probably going to be at his game in UNO, um, and probably that Oral Roberts game um, when they play them. But yeah, he's easily by far the hot commodity in the draft, and shout out to KJ for really changing his life in under 24 hours. Like, that's incredible. What you saw on KJ's mix, Grant does not do in game a lot. Like those ISOs and those possessions where he just dribbles a lot and creates, he doesn't do a lot in game. He probably does it, like I said, around three to five times a game. And he's good at it though. Like in all of his ISO possessions, he's made 50% of them. So I mean, yeah, I mean, he's a good ball handler at that size. And it's definitely something that makes him intriguing because what really stands out is his defense and his athleticism. That's what makes him a very good prospect in my opinion. If I had a guess off the top of my head, maybe I'm gassing it. But he might be pushing top 10 to top 12 territory as a defender in this draft. He can test everything. He's good on the perimeter. He uses his size well. He is really good laterally. And he's very good vertically. And that's what helps him as a rim protector and as a help side guy at the next level. His shooting is still raw and the playmaking is still raw. But once again, he is a raw player overall. He's not an NBA ready guy just yet. But with development and with the season still going on, he will be fine during the draft process. I think he's going to develop pretty well. If he has a good combine, which I think he needs to go to, and if he has a really good pro day, he will be fine. Gouts will ooze over his athleticism at the combine and at the pro day he has. And he's also a really good defender. And those measurables being 6'11 with a 7 foot wingspan is also going to be impressive to some scouts.
His defense and his athleticism is the thing that really stands out, but his ball handling skill and that talent is also something that really makes him very intriguing. You pair his ball handling and his creation upside and ability to what he already brings defensively and as an athlete, man, I mean, that's just a really good player at the next level. And his shooting potential is also there. He has the mechanics. He's shown shot making ability. Like I said, with development, he will be fine. It reminds me a lot of Franz coming out of Michigan. And no, I'm not making that comparison because they're both white. Franz didn't have the ball handling duties that Grant has, but he was still showing some creation ability here and there. His shooting wasn't good in college, but I mean, it was okay, and that's similar to Grant. And at the same time, they were both high-level defenders in college, and they both showed passing chops. Also, they basically shared the same measurables as Franz is 6'11 now, but in college, he was around like 6'9. And while Grant might not ever be the shooter that he is, I also feel a Michael Porter Jr. comparison. Not only do they share very similar measurables, but they're both like really good athletes. Athletes. And if Grant does become a really, really good shooter in the NBA, he has one thing that Michael Porter Jr. doesn't have, which is a handle. I also think Grant could be a legit lob threat unlike MPJ, but I don't think he'll create the angles that MPJ does when he cuts, but I think he'll still be a good cutter in the NBA. So uh, yeah, there you have it, Grant Nelson. His life has changed tremendously this past week, and shout out to KJ for really playing a big role into that. At the moment, I probably have Grant as like a early second to late first round prospect, but depending on his play for the rest of the year, and if he has a really good combine in a pro day, he might sneak in the top 20, and he could sneak into lottery depending on the team, but I think that's a long shot at the moment. He's 6'11 with legit two-way potential and creation potential. There's no reason why a team won't bank on him, and he's also 20, so he's still fairly young as a prospect. Yeah, he's a good prospect for sure. He's still raw, but he'll be fine, and he won't be ready for the NBA day one. He might get sent to the G League right away, but then again, he has all the tools to be very good in the league. There's also a Nuggets scout that has interest into him, so... Let's just say the Nuggets hypothetically draft him. Our development will work wonders for him. He would be the defender that we really need, especially help side rim protection and also some wing stopping stuff. And his offense is like, the potential is there, man. And his fit along Jokic will be perfect. But yeah, at this point, I'm making this video too long. I didn't want it to be 12 minutes, but I mean, hey, Grant Nelson's a fun player. And I mean, try to catch some North Dakota State games if you can. If you can't, there will probably be some film posted on him since he's a really big name now. And um, yeah. There you have it. Dio gave me a little cup and told me piss in it. Nigga said the whip look familiar cause it's bitch in it. Gotta double up, put your wrists in it. Little freaky bitch in my ear, like put your fists in it. Run with snakes, him hissing shit. Cuzzle head on all blue, like he played for Michigan.